Good morning and welcome to BHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave. I'm glad to have a few minutes to spend with you for us to spend together. Uh, it's Monday, uh, December 28th, and now we're on our way to 2021, which promises to be a great, great year in our Lord. I want you to think about, and that's uh, Chloe actually saying, uh, Happy New Year to you. Um, I want you to think for just a few minutes about one simple question. It's a question that uh, when I'm processing like I'd like to, I ask myself when I'm looking in the mirror every morning, uh, and I encourage others to do so. It's a great way to start the day. And I ask myself, do you know how much God loves you? Do you know how much God loves you? And I tr don't hang anything on it. I don't go anywhere else except just think about that one thing. Do you know how much God loves you? That's particularly meaningful as we approach the new year because we're thinking in terms of what we can do in the new year to better ourselves. We call it resolutions. I am resolved to. And as we live into that new year, thinking about the resolutions, I mean, I'd like to, um, I'd like to uh, lose a little weight. I'd like to be more faithful in my uh, devotional life, uh, spending more quality time with the Lord. Uh, in a real world, well, really what I'd like to do is grow more hair, but I know that's not gonna happen, so I'm not gonna be disappointed with that. But um, in the midst of all of my resolutions, all of the things that I would be better if I would, uh, Jesus reminds me, do you know how much God loves you? Do you know much how God loves you? There's nothing hanging on that as if only you will, um, if only you will do better, if you only be better. No, the message to us comes, the Christmas message actually comes, the daily message comes from God's heart. Do you know how much I love you? We do attempt to hang other things on that. Uh, we think about all the things that we should be doing in our minds and hearts. We think of all that the world expects of us. We think sometimes of all the church expects of us uh, to live right, to uh, be more accountable. And yet in the midst of it all, the message is simple. Do you know how much God loves you? And in his loving you, he wants to recreate you. He wants to give you and download into your heart and mind, my heart and mind, all the fullness of his love, all of his grace, all of his favor. He wants to take you to untold places in your heart, in your spirit, in your mind that you would, could never imagine. As you simply say, yes, Lord, I do know how much you love me. I believe that you do love me and I am ready to receive it all. Jesus promised that he would transform us. He would make us new creation, new creatures. And so every day of this new year, I invite you to commit and I commit myself. First thing in the morning, even, if I, even as I look in the mirror and wonder who is that, I will say, David, do you know how much God loves you? Would you say it right now? Your name. Do you know how much God loves you? I'd like to read just a few verses of scripture, if I may. This is from 2 Corinthians 5, beginning at verse 17. Now, if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely new person. All that is related to the old order has vanished. Behold, and forgive me as I turn my page, behold, everything is fresh and new, and God has made all things new and reconciled us to himself and given us the ministry of reconciling others to God. Do you know how much God loves you? And he has given you the privilege 
of taking that message to others. You can invite them to his love and his favor by simply asking them, do you know how much God loves you? As I hear that, my heart melts just to know that the Lord and the Master, the God of all creation, loves me. And his gift was Jesus Christ. His expression of, do you know how much I love you? I'm giving you Jesus Christ to change your life, the character of who you are, to make you like he is, to make you a new creation, a new creature. How much we have to be thankful for. And so once again, I invite you to make that your resolution, to say to yourself every day, do you know how much God loves you? Would you pray with me? Gracious and loving Father, we respond to that unbelievably gracious word from Scripture that has been transmitted from person to person down through the years. Do you know how much God loves you? It's the question that, it's that transforming question that we respond to, we believe in, and we love. So, Father, today we believe it, we receive it, and we will follow the one who loves us so. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's going to be a great new year, and in Christ, a happy new year. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.